how are you feeling? Good, I'm happy to see you smiling. My name is Dr. Luna and I was the physician on call who did your um, appendectomy last night. You came in with some very severe pain um, in your tummy and I'm happy to report that the surgery was a success. We were able to remove all of the affected appendix and I'm going to give you a head-to-toe assessment right now, get a baseline of where you are within the first 48 hours after the surgery and hopefully you'll be discharged by tomorrow. Do you have any questions for me? What is an appendectomy? Well, that's a very good question. So the appendectomy is the removal of your appendix. And the appendix is a very small pouch that is attached to your large intestine. It really serves no purpose. Um, so you're okay without it. Sometimes it can get infected through no fault of your own. And that's when we need to snip it out of there. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how the incision site looks like. I'm going to set this right here. And is it okay if I lift out the blanket and take a little peek inside? Okay, so it looks like it's healing all right. There's no redness, no swelling. Not seeing any excess bleeding. Do you mind if I palpate? Okay. No swelling, no lumps or bumps. Very good. All right. So at first glance, that's looking okay. make a note of that. Oh no, a scale of 1 to 10, in how much pain are you in right now? About a 5. Okay. So that should go down to about a 3 by tonight and uh, by tomorrow morning you'll be at a 1. Have you had any nausea or vomiting? No nausea or vomiting, good. Were you able to use the restroom today? Very good. And were you able to have breakfast? Okay. Do you remember what you had for breakfast? Eggs and toast. Good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and take your vital signs and we'll take it from there. Go ahead and put my gloves on. The goal is to have you back to your home by tomorrow. Ask the nurse to turn on the AC a little bit for you so that you're more comfortable. Okay. So let me go ahead and do a little bit of a palpation around your lower abdominal area to make sure that everything is okay with your stomach, your spleen, and um, that there's no swelling that I missed, okay? Thing for me. Okay. Stomach 
is not enlarged. The spleen feels okay. The tip of the liver, I'm barely able to feel it, which is good. Okay. So, that is perfectly normal. Let me go ahead and feel your pulse right here. Listen to your heart. I'm looking for any extra sounds, murmurs, anything abnormal. Okay, take a deep breath in and out. Good. Deep breath in. The lungs are perfectly okay. okay. I'm gonna set this right here. I'm going to go ahead and take your temperature over the forehead. Behind the ear. 98.5. Good. Now I have a fever. That's a good sign. and then check your blood pressure as well. Okay, over on this side. Okay, if I sit right here next to you. Great. So temperature was normal, no signs of any fever, blood pressure, no hypertension, hypertension. All sounds were clear with your heart and lungs. S1 and S2 could be heard, no S3 or S4, no crackling, no murmurs, very good, no adventitious sounds were heard, and um, is your nose running at all, have you noticed any discharge? Go ahead and set this aside. Okay. I'm actually going to just tie my hair in a ponytail.
So I'm gonna go ahead and check your pupil response. I wanna make sure that I'm not missing any neurological signs that may be of concern. Um, and that when we do send you home, right, there's no reason to come back. All right, so go ahead and look into the distance at that tree right there for me. Just gonna shine my light. Pupils are round and reactive to light. They are about two millimeters, which is good. I want you to just keep your head straight and follow the light. Now look at that tree over there, good. And now look at the light again. Look at my nose, my lips, pen, tree. Forehead, pen, nose, tree. Look at these fingers right here, the pen, good. All right, most excellent. Next up, I want to make sure that you can detect color appropriately. You can tell me what color this is. Good. How about this one? And this one? This one. All right. Green. Yes. Orange. And this one? Good. Yellow. Perfect. going to go ahead and tap on your face a little bit and I'm testing for any pain, any zapping, any sensations that just shouldn't be there. Okay. So you can just go ahead and look at that plant right there. Next up, I'm going to test your sensations on your face. And I have here two objects. One of them is dull and fluffy. The other one is sharp, but not too sharp. It's not going to pierce through the skin, so no worries. So I want you to close your eyes and tell me if you feel sharp or dull. Okay, good, sharp. Good. Sharp. Good. You did great. Right next time, I'm going to test your hearing and have here an otoscope and a tuning fork. So I'm going to strike the tuning fork and cause a vibration and I'll place it right here, touching the mastoid bone process right here. And I want you to tell me if you feel it first and then when it stops, okay? Right. Next up, I'm going to take a peek inside your ear, okay? 
I want to make sure there are no infections. All right, so you can look to your to right. Good. No signs of infections. No signs of any cerebral blu fluid buildup. I'm not concerned. All right, let's take a look in the other here as well. Define margin. Perfect. So the good news is that I'm not seeing any signs of any infection. I'm gonna take my tuning fork. Right, next up I'm going to give you something to taste. make sure I mix this really well. I'm going to drop a little bit on your tongue and I want you to tell me what it tastes like. another substance to taste. This one is a little bit different and more subtle, so don't worry if you can't detect it right away. You need to let it stay a little bit on your tongue. And give your taste buds an opportunity to absorb it. Okay. Go oh, ahead, stick out your tongue for me. What is that? Okay, let me give you another drop. Okay, passion fruit. Very good. Now, okay, you did wonderful. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put my passion fruit back. Next up, I'm going to take a peek inside your mouth, all right, honey? Okay. What I'm looking for inside your mouth? That's a good question. So I pretty much want to make sure that your tonsils are not inflamed, right? And that everything looks good in the back of your throat, that there's no redness, um, no signs of any inflammation, um, that I'm not able to see your thyroid, that just everything looks okay right there. Okay, so I'm gonna come really close and stick out your tongue for me. Say, ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay, that looks good. Tonsils are not enlarged, no signs of infection or inflammation. Good. Perfect. See? You did great. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and feel your head next. And I'm looking for any lumps, any bumps, anything that could be, um, you know, a lump, pain, um, a painful area that could have just started to begin to be painful. So just go ahead and relax. Okay. I'm gonna feel under your chin. 
vagina as well. Okay. I'm gonna check your lymph nodes on your neck. Leaf nodes are not enlarged. Does this hurt on top of your head? No, good. How about when I apply pressure laterally? Does this hurt? Good, perfect. Okay. Go ahead and just take a couple of notes. Cranial nerves three to five are intact. No pain in your head. Back of the throat looks good. The incision site and your abdominal area are not showing any signs of any um, infection or recurrence of the infection. Good heart rate was normal, blood pressure. Okay. I'm going to take a look at your nose next, okay? So let me just use my light and just kind of it a little bit, just inspect your nose, then palpate. Good. Any pain when I do this? How about when I do this? Good. Excellent. All right. I'm also going to give you something to smell. What does this smell like? Lemongrass, good. Okay. And I'm also going to take a look at the back of the eye, at your macula. Um, your sclera, optic nerve and your optic disc and make sure that we didn't miss anything that could be a neurological sign of um, something abnormal arising as a result of the surgery. Is that okay with you? Okay. So this is an ophthalmoscope and just going to just Select the setting that allows me to see you the clearest. Okay, good. I'm gonna turn my light on and now I'm gonna come really close and inspect your optic nerve. Right. Okay, optic disc looks intact. Well defined margins for your sclera. Macula is intact. No popped blood vessels, capillaries look good. Very good. All right, I'm gonna do the same over on your other eye. Okay. Optic this looks good as well. Perfect. You look wonderful. Okay.
the cranial nerve exam checks out all 12 of your cranial nerves look perfect no sign of any neurological impact all right i'm gonna go ahead and check your feet as well So first I'm just going to inspect them. Checking for any edema, no redness, no swelling. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do a little tapping just to make sure I'm not able to trigger any zapping or anything neurological. Good. Perfect. And I'm also going to do the Babinski test. So go ahead and just relax. Let your foot loose. Okay. Negative Babinski. Let's try your left foot. Let it loose. Perfect. Okay. So negative Babinski, no edema or swelling of the feet. So you still have a little bit of pain. Okay. And I see you are on 800 milligram of ibuprofen. I mean that shouldn't, that should keep the pain at bay. Let me just go ahead and take another peek at the incision area. Okay, hold on, let me get my light. A little bit inflamed, yes. Not very noticeably though, which is why I didn't see anything on the first go around. Okay. Does it hurt here? How about here? Okay. If I move a little down towards your liver does it hurt there hmm. okay i see i see okay yeah i would say that's normal you have been through a lot now we had to make about a six inch incision and um work around our internal, um, your internal organs in order to remove the pouch that is the appendix. So I wouldn't be too concerned about it, but I am going to in increase that 800 milligram dosage of ibuprofen to 1000. I'm going to let the nurse know. And I'm going to have to give you another assessment tomorrow morning and we'll evaluate if we can discharge it tomorrow at 12 p.m. How does that sound? Good. Excellent. So I'll be back. I hope you're able to rest from now until tomorrow. Try to eat something if you can. Don't rub or scratch over the incision area. Even if it itches, try not to. 
don't wear any tight clothing or anything. Just continue wearing the hospital gown that you're in right now. What we want to avoid in the next 48 hours um, are infections. So definitely make sure you wash your hands at least three times from now until tomorrow morning. Don't try to scratch under the bandage um, and uh, just try to sit just reclined like this, relaxed. And I'll be back and give you another checkup soon. Okay, good. Nice seeing you today. I'm happy to see you smile. Great. See you tomorrow. Bye, sweetie.